Hello and welcome to the second section of the Web Development with AngularJS 2.0 and Bootstrap. In the previous section, we saw the basics of Angular 2.0. In this section, we are going to cover the basics of the Bootstrap framework using Bootstrap classes in our web application and making our application responsive. So we will be covering these main building blocks of design. Grid system in Bootstrap. Responsive navbar header. Responsive container and fluid container classes, panel, accordion, carousel sliders, tab layout components, and finally, utility classes. Let's now start with the first video of this section, which is installation and setting up Bootstrap in your design. In this video, we're going to look at installation. Bootstrap setup is nothing but including Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript source in your web application. Then we will look at the text editors that speed up our workflow and built-in browser developer tools to help us troubleshoot our code. We will be using Chrome Dev Tools to inspect the design. So let's try to understand responsive and non-responsive designs. You can see the clear difference between both the design layouts. The first one is responsive and the second one is non-responsive. In the first one, the complete content of the website is being covered in the viewport but in the second design, the content is moving outside the viewport, so it is not a responsive design. According to the size dimension of the screen, the content should also occupy the complete viewport. 1. Bootstrap is the most popular front-end framework for writing the design layout. We will be using Bootstrap JS and CSS in our application. 2. Bootstrap easily and effectively scales your websites and applications with a single code base, from phones to tablets to desktops with CSS media queries. 3. Bootstrap is built on top of jQuery and also requires jQuery.js for page development. First we'll look at the basic HTML page and then start adding Bootstrap JavaScript and styles with it. Let's first talk about how to download the Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript from the web. Let's have a look at some web development tools which can make your development easy and friendly. Sublime Text 3 is my text editor of choice, as it is fast and easy to use. One of the things I love about it is how easy and natural it makes it to write code. You can install other editors also, like Brackets or JetBrains WebStorm IDE. For writing JavaScript framework code, WebStorm will be useful. Now let's start and open our IDE and start writing basic HTML page, and also download Bootstrap resources from getbootstrap.com. Download .zip resources from getbootstrap.com. Add bootstrap.min.css and bootstrap.min.js to the code. Copy font files for glyph icons to the root of your application. After extracting the code, it will look something like this. Extract the code so that you will have all the CSS and GS files. Font files will get copied. Download resources from HTTP colon slash slash www.getbootstrap.com Add resources to the application. Now, start adding bootstrap.min.css and bootstrap.min.js on your index.html. Another option is including Bootstrap's files via CDN. You can include the Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript files as well as the jQuery library JavaScript file in your document using the freely available CDN or Content Delivery Network links. CDNs can offer a performance benefit by reducing the loading time because they are hosting Bootstrap's files on multiple servers spread across the globe. These are the CDN URLs. You can use them to write your application. Let's start with responsive layouts. Responsive layouts automatically adjusts and adapts to any device screen size, whether it's a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, or a mobile phone. Bootstrap includes a responsive and mobile-first fluid grid system that appropriately scales up to 12 columns to make our page responsive, and so we can use these columns. With the new Bootstrap 3 mobile-first grid system, creating responsive and mobile-friendly websites has become much easier. Grid system is nothing but a row of column classes, which makes a UI responsive on different screens. We have now downloaded all the classes. With the new Bootstrap 3, we will be using all these different classes like Grid Container, Fluid Container, 
Row Column Classes. We will be creating a row column grid structure, which will create a responsive layout application. Great work! In the next video, we are going to create a fluid responsive layout with grid system using these different classes.